Well, the 12 topics I wound up being um, exhaustion, because women say they're always tired. Um, there was betrayal. We've all experienced betrayal, whether it's from a relationship with a, a personal relationship with our a spouse or a friend. Uh, maybe it's a work relationship where we were betrayed, but we've all experienced that. Um, insecurity, inferiority was a, a really big topic. Um, faithlessness and fear. We, we constantly are, are dealing with fear in our lives. And, and how do we overcome that? And how do we begin to, to move through that? Um, people pleasing was another really big one. Where, as women, we're always looking to see how can we make everybody happy and how can we keep everybody happy? And as a result, we're, we're living exhausting lives. We're, we're stressed out. Um, addiction was actually another topic that I covered. There were a lot of people who were coming to me behind the scenes and asking questions about that. And so I began to um, think, you know, as a, in the church, we don't tend to dive into that a lot. I know we have programs that deal with addiction, but I wanted to be sure that we have um, that we have a tool that we can pick up and say, you know what, this is what I need, not to fix everybody else, but to help myself. Uh, loneliness was another topic. Anger was actually another another very big topic that women said. Um, they're angry, they're resentful, uh, they feel very worn out, and as a result, there's, there's a lot of anger and resentment there. Um, dealing with difficult people, we all have those in our life, but what does the Bible really say about difficult people? And, and one of the things that I go through in the book is that we can all be difficult. All of us have the, uh, the potential, uh, to, except for me, of course, to be difficult. But um, difficult, the Bible actually talks about difficult people will be lovers of themselves, be boastful. And I go through the different things that the Word says um, that difficult people, the characteristics that they contain. Um, depression was actually another big one that women said, I really need to know how to get through this and not be stuck. Um, uncertainty, fear of the future is a really big topic. And, and that led into, the, I think the one that people say they needed the most was just how to find their purpose in life. How do I know at this season of my life to find my purpose? And, and I talk about that in the conference that I teach um, pr prior to writing this one, and people wanted more on that. And so I actually get to, I, I dive into how do we find our purpose and what are some things we need to look for there. Uh, we need to focus on our strengths, for example. Too many times I think we're so focused on our weaknesses and making ourselves better in the weak areas where God's given us gifts and He's given us talents and we need to focus on those things uh, that, that are strengths in our lives because that's what He uses in different seasons of our life uh, to not only help others, but to, to grow us and to most of all, to give Him glory, to bring glory and honor to Him because that's what it's all about. Our gifts and our talents are to glorify Him. And so I go into detail on how to find our purpose in that chapter.